Hello, dear students, uh, dear colleagues. Welcome to Back Anglais. Uh, you are on your YouTube channel, Ibrahim Ongom Attitude. Please subscribe for more videos. In today's lesson, we are going to learn or revise notions and functions, and especially how to express purpose in very easy and understandable English. At the end of the lesson, you will have some exercise to do. Expressing purpose in English. What is purpose, guys? What is purpose? It is expressing the reason for which something is done or for which something exists. In other words, expressing purpose can be defined as expressing one's aim one's objective or even one's intention. C'est quoi purpose en anglais? Purpose c'est ce que vous avez fait, ce que vous faites, ce que vous voulez faire. Quel est votre objectif? Qu'est-ce que vous visez? Pourquoi vous l'avez fait? Par exemple, example one, you go to school. Vous allez à l'école. Quel est votre objectif? Pourquoi? Qu'est-ce que vous visez? That's your aim, that's your objective, that's your purpose. What is your purpose? You go to school, what is your purpose? Why do you go to school? I go to school to get knowledge. So getting knowledge is my purpose. Example number two. People eat vegetables. On mange des légumes. Pourquoi? Dans quel but? What is their purpose? People who eat vegetables may be to get healthy. Pour être en bonne santé, ce que vous visez, quel est votre objectif? C'est être en bonne santé. It is your purpose. Example number three. I am looking for a good job. Je cherche un bon boulot. Why? What is my purpose? What is my objective? Here, my purpose is to help my parents out of poverty. That is why, the reason why I am looking for a good job. My purpose, my objective, my aim. Here are expressions that we are going to use today to express purpose in English. To, in order to, so as to, for, so that, in order to. Uh, to, in order to, so as to, are interchangeable. To, in order to, so as to, plus base form. What is base form? Base form is infinitive without to. Example, you go to school to get knowledge. To get knowledge. Tu vas à l'école pour obtenir le savoir. Number two, you go to school in order to get knowledge. And number three, you go to school so as to get knowledge. So these three sentences express purpose. To plus base form. In order to, plus base form, so as to, plus base form. Another example, people eat vegetables to get healthy. In order to get healthy, so as to get healthy. Number three, I am looking for a good job to help my parents. Two plus base form, in order to help my parents. So as to help my parents. Not to, in order to, so as to. Negative form. I took a taxi not to arrive late. I took a taxi in order not to arrive late. I took a taxi so as to arrive, so as not to arrive late. 
I took a taxi so as not to arrive late. 4 plus ing form plus noun. 4 plus ing form plus noun. 4 est suivi de ing form ou bien un nom. Contrairement à tout, in order to so as to, qui sont suivis de l'infinitif sans tout. 4 plus ing form plus noun. Example, you go to school for getting knowledge. You go to school for getting knowledge, ing form. Number two, you go to school for knowledge. Je vais à l'école pour obtenir le savoir, ou bien je vais à l'école pour le savoir. You can have ing form or a noun. Next example, I borrowed money for buying a house. J'ai emprunté de l'argent pour acheter une maison. Or, I borrowed money for a house. J'ai emprunté de l'argent pour une maison. Pour acheter une maison. Pour une maison. You can have ing form or a noun. So that or in order that. So that est plus commun. In order that, c'est moins commun. Moins, moins fréquent. OK? So that plus subject, plus verb. Donc, sans être est suivi d'un sujet et d'un verbe. Et souvent, le verbe, c'est un modal. Je dis bien souvent, ce n'est pas tout le temps. Parfois, on peut avoir un verbe sans modal. OK? Mais, dans le, la, la majeure partie des cas, vous avez un modal qui suit. Sujet plus modal. So, here, so that, in order that, plus subject, plus verb, sometimes, a modal, between parentheses, as you can see here. I borrow money so that I can buy a house. I borrowed money in order that I could buy a house. So you can, here you have I can, here you have I could. They are both models, so that plus subject, okay, in order that plus subject. I borrowed money so that I can buy a house. I borrowed money in order that I could buy a house. So here you can have so that plus subject plus verb or plus model as you can see here. Recap. On va récapituler un peu, retourner un peu en arrière. Uh, expressing purpose in English, you can have many expressions among them. Two, she stopped eating sweets to lose weight. Elle a arrêté de manger des sucreries pour perdre du poids dans le but de perdre du poids qu'est-ce qu'il vise qu'est-ce qu'elle vise ici perdre du poids quel est son objectif perdre du poids she stopped eating sweets in order to lose weight she stopped eating sweets so as to lose weight she stopped eating sweets for losing weight She stopped eating sweets so that she can lose weight. She stopped eating sweets in order that she can lose weight. So, to plus base form, in order to plus base form, so as to plus base form. For plus ing or plus noun. Ici, on pouvait dire, she stopped eating sweet for weight loss. For weight loss, plus un nom. Okay, this is, here are the expressions we have just seen to express purpose exercise practice number one multiple choice questions i sell coffee to make money for make money or so that make money which one is the correct one here a b or c remember here you have base form make The good one is two. I sell coffee to make money. Remember, two plus base form. Number two, I learn my lessons. I can get good marks. J'apprends mes leçons pour que je puisse obtenir de bonnes notes. It will be two, four, or so that. Which one is it? A, B, or C? Very good. It is so that plus subject plus model 
so that I can get good marks. Number three, we are revising so that the test for the test in order that the test. Which one is okay? Knowing that the test is a noun. Wonderful. Four, we are revising the test. We are revising for the test. Nous révisons pour le devoir. Four, I'll send you money so that you can buy some furniture. Four, you can buy some furniture so that so as to you can buy furniture. Which one is the best? A, B or C? Attention. Furniture est un faux ami. Ça veut dire meuble. Furniture, c'est meuble. Good. So that plus subject plus model. Number five. They go to church praying. To pray. Attention les gars. Beaucoup disent pray. C'est pray. Ok. Is it so that? For or in order to. They go to church so that for in order to. It is B for praying plus ING form. Practice number two. Number two. Complete the following sentence to express purpose. Complete la phrase suivante. J'ai déjà fait la première. Le premier exemple, I am selling second hand clothes to make money. Je vends des vêtements deuxième main de la friperie pour me faire un peu d'argent. Number two, I am selling second hand clothes in order to complete. I am selling second hand clothes so that so as to. I am selling second hand clothes for. I am selling second hand clothes for. I am selling second-hand clothes so that. So, you complete with the verb to make money. Okay? So, uh, this is your exercise. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share them with your community. It was Mr. Ngom. Goodbye.